Hi you my lovelies, so today's video I have a two week infill, this is the previous design and my client over painted her nails so just before anyone comments saying that they are messy or disgraceful, that was not me, that was my client's doing. So I've already took off the old design, I've already dehydrated, done the cuticle prep and I'm just applying my second coat of acid free primer from NSI. Once I've applied my second coat of primer, I then go ahead and move on to doing my infill. So the acrylic liquid I'm using is Nayo's Medium Speed Clear and I'm using it with NSI's um, clear powder. Now I get a small bead of acrylic and I always tilt my finger downwards slightly, remembering because it, the gravity does all the work for you so the, instead of the product fl flooding the cuticle work it goes down the nail so it just it doesn't flood that cuticle and in that way you won't have much more work to do around your cuticle area because if you get any liquid not liquid powder or anything onto your skin or in your side walls or your cuticle they will be your main reasons that you have lifting now this whole video is in real time mode so I haven't sped anything up for you guys just to show you how I work and I do apologise right now there's some parts of the video that I do go out of frame and I'm just it's so frustrating so yeah I thought I'd just apologise now for you guys just so you don't get annoyed as much as I do. These are my client's um, real nails. She hasn't got no tips on, so I'm doing an overlay in fill today. And today's video hasn't really got much of a design. She wanted them all natural because she has to have um, surgery um, in a couple of days and she's not allowed any nail, nail varnish on whatsoever so she wanted to cheat a little bit and just have still have the enhancements without taking them all off but just have a nice natural look so today's video is just going to be that natural look for you so I thought I'd record it and show you guys how I do my infill with a natural look Okay, once I've applied all my acrylic, I let it all set and make sure it's all hard before filing. I sometimes tap um, with like a end part of a nail art brush just to make sure it is fully dry um, because it was quite warm and when it's warm it does set a lot quicker. And because it's only an infill, it doesn't really take as long. So I always make sure that it is got a tapping sound to make sure it's fully set. Now what I do, I get my electric drill and I use my smooth drill top bit um, and I have it on a really low speed setting and I go around the cuticle area and just over that apex area in one direction only I don't apply a lot of pressure do not make sure you don't go over one area quite a lot of times because it will cause a heat friction and it is so discom discomfort for yourself and even for your client once I've gone round um, with my electric drill file, I then go in again with a hand file, just reshaping the side walls if needs be and the free edge and I just go over the whole nail plate just to give it more of that, more of a natural shape. I'm not saying that they were misshaped at all or anything like that, I always go in with my hand file because with your hand file you can get more of a good shape around with it than what you can with your e-file. Once I've gone over with my hand file, then I buff over the nails as well. I 
Once I've buffed my nails as well, um, I don't apply any top coat, as I said, because she's trying to have it, she's not allowed any nail varnish on whatsoever. So to keep it as nat natural, at the end I just buff them as good as I can to get a nice natural shine. And then I just apply cuticle, uh, cuticle oil at the end just to embellish into the cuticle and to the underneath nail plate, like free edge as well. Um, and that's basically the finished look there. So I've left a little clip and picture at the end for you guys. I really hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to like this um, video if you think if you think it's good and give it a thumbs up. If you do like my channel then please go ahead and click that subscribe button for more updated videos. The more support guys the more the better because I'm so proud of how far I'm getting at the moment and it's all because of you guys. So yeah, if you have any comments or queries, don't forget to contact me. I'll leave everything in the in description box. Um, so yeah, if you have anything that you want me to show you guys, just let me know and I'll try and get it up as quick as I can for you. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Much love. Bye.